Graham doesn't have his login either. Uh, good morning, everybody. Welcome to our online uh, church service this morning. Graham doesn't have would make later. Uh, this coming week, we'll be working on getting which can actually cope with all. from so we're up to lead us in Jesus Christ my all in all Jesus Christ is risen today, hallelujah, our triumphant holy day, hallelujah, who did once upon the cross, hallelujah, so for sharing your gifts uh, with us this morning. 
uh, the announcements for today. Most of the ministries remain closed, but we are using it's available uh, to try to keep some of the groups going. So I know that some people are meeting together. Our children's ministry, of course, our three groups, the kittens, lions and tigers, uh, will be meeting after this meeting. These things are continuing and some of the Bible study groups are still meeting together online or are texting. Um, it's great to be able to use the technology that is available for us so that we can, can continue to minister to each other and also to pray for each other and support at this very trying and difficult time. So those are the um, We also need to remind you that our, our bills keep coming in, um, and so if you are available, uh, willing and available to make a contribution to, the, to our account, our treasurer, Young Min, has those details. Uh, so either contact me and I will pass it on to Young Min or contact him directly uh, for those details. And we thank you for the way that you have been continuing to support uh, the ministries of the church with your financial gifts, as well, more importantly, with your regular prayers. And we ask again that you would continue to read God's word each day and spend time in prayer. Uh, this is our most important development and the way that we can support is staying in regular contact with the Lord through his word and in prayer and upholding each other in prayer. So those are the announcements for today uh, so please uh, keep these things in mind. Our first Bible reading is from Luke 23 verse 50 through to chapter 24 verse 7 and again I'll be reading from the New Living Translation. So Luke 23, beginning at verse 50, says, Now there was a good and righteous man named Joseph. He was a member of the Jewish High Council, but he had not agreed with the decision and actions of the other religious leaders. He was from the town of Arimathea in Judea, and he was waiting for the kingdom of God to come. And he went to Pilate and asked for Jesus' body. Then he took the body down from the cross and wrapped it in a long sheet of linen cloth and laid it in a new tomb that had been carved out of rock. This was done late on the Friday afternoon, the day of preparation, as the Sabbath was about to begin. As his body was taken away, the women from Galilee followed and saw the tomb where his body was placed. Then they went home and prepared spices and ointments to anoint his body. But by the time they were finished, the Sabbath had begun, so they rested as required by the law. But very early on Sunday morning, the women went to the tomb, picking the spices they had prepared. They found that the stone had been rolled away from the entrance. So they went in, but they didn't find the body of the Lord Jesus. As they stood there puzzled, two men suddenly appeared to them, clothed in dazzling robes. The women were terrified and bowed with their faces to the ground. Then the men asked, Why are you looking among the dead for someone who is alive? He isn't here. He is risen from the dead. Remember what he told you back in Galilee, that the Son of Man must be betrayed into the hands of sinful men and be crucified, and that he would rise again on the third day. Then they remembered that he had said this. Our second reading is from 1 Corinthians 15, verses 12 to 20. Paul's letter to churches, chapter 15, beginning at verse 12. Paul says to the early church, But tell me this, since we Christ from the dead, why are some of you saying there will be For if there is no resurrection, it has not been raised either. And if Christ has not been raised, then all is useless, your faith is useless. We 
we apostles would all be lying about God, for we have said that God raised from the grave. But that could be true if there is no resurrection of the dead. If there is no resurrection of the dead, then Christ has not been raised. And if Christ has not been raised, and you are still guilty of sins. In that case, our hope in Christ are lost. If our hope in Christ is only for this life, we are more to be pitied than anyone in the world. But in fact, Christ has been raised from the dead. He is the first harvest of all who have died. Here ends the readings. May God bless us through the reading of his word. So we just need a little bit of a wait while the prayer at item 7 in our order of service comes up on the screen for some people. So people using the YouTube streaming, you should have it on your screen now. Number 7 in our order of service. Let's Dear Heavenly Father, be our King forever. Lord God, that Jesus died in our life. Thank you that Jesus was people who trust in him. Please help us as our Lord and King every day. talk and then we're going to young me will lead us in this ministry This talk today is Matthew chapter 28, verse 1-2. Last week, we learned Jesus died to say,
갑자기 땅에 떨어져서 동굴 입구에 있던 바위를 꾸며서 동굴을 열고 바위에 앉았어요. 저런 빛이 났고 입고 있던 옷은 움직이들은 너무 놀라서 모두 와 다른 여인들에게 말했어요. 예수님은 이곳에 계시지 않고 다시 살아나 들에게 전하여라. 하고 있던 움직이들은 너무 놀라. They were frightened, but also. 여인들은 서둘러서 제자들에게 갔어요. 그들은 너무 깜짝. They told the eleven apostles and happened, but the apostles thought it was nonsense and they wouldn't believe. Peter ran to the tomb and saw the empty tomb. 열한 명의 제자들과 다른 세, 사람들에게 이 사실만 그들은 믿지 않았어요. 하지만 베드로는 어, 비어 있는 무덤을 발견했어요. Jesus was dead, but now he is alive. 예수님은 돌아가셨지만 이제는 다시 살아나셨습니다. Let's pray. 고맙습니다. 11명의 제자들에게 Thank you that Jesus died and was always Please help us to find out more about him and how we become his friends in Jesus name. 하나님 다시 부활하신 예수님께 감사드립니다. 로 다시 살아나신 예수님 더욱 더 예수님에 대해서 알아가며 도록 도와주세요. 예수님의 이름으로 기도드립니다. This loves me in Jesus name. Passage for today. This is 35 to. I'm going to be reading that passage of explanation. All I have to do is find the right passage. Luke 24, beginning verse 35, and again, reading translation. and burial later that day we know that he uh, talked with one named Cleopas um, and the other we don't know of Emmaus they turned around and went back to uh, talk to the other disciples from Luke 24 beginning at verse 30 then the two from Emmaus told them as they were walking along the road and how they were breaking the bread. And just as he himself was suddenly standing there among them. 
but the whole group was startled and frightened as a ghost. Why? Why are your hearts filled with doubt? Look at my feet. You can see that it's really to make sure that I am not a ghost because as, you, as he spoke, he showed them his hands and his feet. Still they stood there in disbelief, filled with joy. Now I asked them, do you have anything here to eat? Fish, and he ate it as they watched. With you before, I told you that in the law of Moses and the prophets fulfilled. Then he opened the eyes and he said, Yes, it was I would suffer and die and rise from the dead. It was also written that claimed in the authority of his name to all the nations, beginning in Jerusalem. There is forgiveness of sins for all who repent, and you are witnesses of these things. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, that you have, by the work of your Spirit, like Luke, to record the truth of the Spirit. We pray, Heavenly Father, as we turn our minds to understand these beautiful and amazing events, that you would speak to our minds, you would draw us closer to yourself and give us an understanding of what it means to be your children through the world. And these things we pray in his name. Amen. Within a few days of Jesus' arrival in Jerusalem, crucify him, crucify him. He prayed by one of his closest followers, Judas Iscariot. Men armed with swords and clubs, they said by the leading priests and elders of the people. Forgiveness. As God through Isaiah explained it, but it was the Lord's good plan and cause him grief. Yet when his life is made an offering for many descendants. Because of his experience, my righteous servant will make it possible for me to be righteous, for he will bear all sins. He was counted for me and interceded for me. 53. There's innocent of any sin because Jesus willingly gave his life in our place. He the death we deserved so that we have a new life, free, innocent, loved, and accepted. As the Apostle Paul explained it to God showed his great love for us by sending Christ to die for us while we were still and since we've been made right in God's sight by the blood of Christ, he will certainly save us from God's condemnation. So now we can rejoice in our wonderful new relationship with God because our Lord Jesus Christ has made us friends of God. Romans 5. God's actions always have a plan and a purpose and his love back where you belong as a loved child of God. So what should we do about all this? Again, as Isaiah writes, seek the Lord while you can find him. Call on him change their ways and banish every thought of doing wrong. Let them turn to the Lord that he may have mercy on them. Yes, turn to God and he will forgive generously need for the death of Christ Jesus, for without him taking our place for us, 
we would be lost. We would have remained as sinners in the hands of an angry But now, all who turn to him in faith have moved from death to life, from enemy to friend of of our almighty creator and Lord. Well, three days after was raised back to life. From Galilee came that miserable Sunday morning to finish the... But they found only two men who asked them, why who was alive? He isn't here from the dead. Remember... That the Son of Man must be betrayed and all men and be crucified and on the third day. And that Luke twenty four. That same day Jesus appeared to many ugly wounds upon his hands and feet to prove that had been crucified, but was now raised by the power of God back to life. And Jesus said, why are your hearts filled with doubts? Why they doubt? They were not expecting their Messiah. As the disciple Cleopas explained, Jesus was a prophet who did power on God and all the people. But they crucified him. And we had hoped that he was the Messiah who had come to rescue Israel. So Jesus had to explain to them again and again that his death and resurrection were already followed And the Messiah and death, he had to die, might live. But we should admit that we also have trouble believing in the resurrection. So it's easy to believe in the life and death of Jesus' true events in history. Many people saw him and heard him teach God's message of love and forgiveness. But the miracle of the resurrection confuses many people. Larry started because he was interested in a girl. But even when his friendship with her finished, he he would listen to the sermon and think about whether it was really true. He'd rejected Christianity in his teenage years. Truth about life, and Jesus' life confronted him with the big questions of life. He claimed to come from God. This is true, it would change everything. But how would he know if it was right? So what evidence turned out to be enough for Larry? Well, it came down to two things, he explains. The first is the physical evidence, the Bible. I dismissed it as a collection of stories for children or a fake made up by crazy people trying to start their own religion. It can't really be true. The four Gospels were written in the church where many of the people who had seen and heard Jesus were still alive. Just made up children's stories. Then the eyewitnesses would expose them as lies. That's what happened to early Christians that convinced Larry the Bible See, they claimed to see Jesus killed and the Many of them were Christians were being killed for Jesus alive. They believed it was someone and why would you die for something We had 
God's forgiven children. Live as God's people. And to forgive our enemies as God. He told great stories like the good been savagely beaten and robbed. He need Jesus to rise from the dead. If Christ has not been preaching, is useless, and your faith is useless. We apostles would all be lying about God, for we have said that God is alive. If Christ is not then you are still guilty of your sins. Living in Christ are lost. This is life. But Christ has been raised from the dead. And he is the great harvest of all who have done Corinthians 15. See, Paul's argument is simple. If Christ Jesus died and then his death on the cross. He carried our sins, but if he stays, but his death pays the price for our sins. And his Life means that we who have put our faith in Him live and eternal life with Him. Without His resurrection is only half the job, and half the man dropped his car into his local garage for a regular service and drained out the old oil, put in a new. Well, the man collected his car and paid the bill. The car stopped. The engine had seized up. Why? Because the mechanic had only done half a job. He didn't put new Doing half a job caused a major problem. Jesus' death, without being raised on the third day, job. And it doesn't work. Death pays for our sins. His resurrection We also will rise to life. Job done. He is the first. He is resurrected. If you put your faith in our Lord Jesus Christ, on that horrible Friday, I with him. Let's pray. Our Heavenly Father, we are grateful. Grateful for your great love. Suffered so much. You suffered the loss of your son. You turned your back. He was carrying our sins. It's not something you did lightly. You loved us lovingly. Because you loved us so much. We thank you, Heavenly Father, that and then paid the price that we should have. That we are accepted as your children, free and forgiven. We thank you for brought your son up from the grave, defeat, and that he is that first. All who have heard the message of the gospel of Jesus Christ have turned from their sins and have turned to you. Heard those wonderful words. Welcome. Thank you for the gift of eternal life through your wonderful Son. In his name we pray. Amen. Uh, Jung Mi will lead us in our final song and then we'll close with the benediction.
Let us close with our benediction. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all. Well, thank you for joining us uh, again this week. Um, there will be some technology, but we'll keep you informed of all of that. I look forward to seeing you next week. Uh, so our three the Tigers and the Lions will now be reading uh, chat rooms. So Welcome from Korea. Love to have you with us. JB, good to see you. Oh, you all disappeared from that screen. I can see Lila over here. Peter Reynolds. Okay. So we're, we're hoping that uh, next week you can all be together in the one room. Uh, chat room anyway. Ah! Junie Junior, Minji, hi, how are you? David, hi, how are you? Young man, Baram. Ah, Julia, good to see you. Yes, everything's. Oh. We're in different chat rooms. I don't think you can see each other, but I can see you. Ah. Woody, thank you very much for the travel.